Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this Google Tag Manager tutorial video, you're going to learn exactly how to set up your Google Ads conversion tracking using the power of Google Tag Manager. So if you're doing search, display, Gmail, YouTube, search partners, this tutorial is for you. Make sure you check out the timestamp table of contents in the description, along with other helpful playlists and videos on how to get up and running with Google Tag Manager for other things like analytics and Facebook, as well as some comprehensive videos on how to get your YouTube ads and your Google ads or do keyword research up and running. Links in the description. With that, let's go ahead, jump into my screen. I'm going to walk you through click by click exactly the two URLs you need, how to set up a trigger inside of Google Tag Manager, as well as how to properly configure your conversion tag so your conversions are actually tracking properly inside of your Google Ads account. So with that, let's go ahead, dive into my screen and get started. And so there are only two things we need when we're doing our conversion tracking. We're going to need our success or confirmation URL and our conversion code from whatever advertising platform we are using. In this particular example, we're gonna be using Google Ads as an example, but this will work with pretty much any platform that you're looking at. So our steps here, we're gonna create the trigger, then we're gonna create the conversion code, and then we're going to add the conversion tag to Google Tag Manager. So the first step is we're going to create a custom trigger inside of Google Tag Manager. And now we'll head over to Google Tag Manager and we're going to click on triggers to create our new trigger to track our conversion events. So once we're in triggers, we're gonna go ahead and click new. And here we're going to define what the trigger is. Now a trigger is something where you're setting up an event. Think of it as an event or a goal that you want to track on your site. So this can be a lead, a sign up, or a sale. Those are kind of the two big things and we're gonna name it based upon that. Here we're tracking a lead. So it's going to be the code of whatever the offer is and then dash lead, you can use whatever naming convention you want. You can always change your names later. So we're gonna click on trigger configuration and this is where we're going to tell Google Tag Manager what conditions need to be met in order for someone to be counted as a lead or a sale or a sign up. Here we're gonna click page view. All of these other things can be used. It just requires a lot more HTML knowledge and starting to mess with the data layer of your site. So we're gonna keep it simple, use page views, and we're going to click on some page views because we don't want this to happen for all pages on our site. We wanna just track when someone hits a particular page. So we're gonna click on some page views here and then we're going to set the conditions of what the page would be. So I apologize, this is a really got really blurry for some reason here. So we're gonna click on page URL in the first box and then we're gonna click on equals in the second one. Again, I apologize, I went ahead and put what you're gonna look for here. It could either be starts with, ends with, or contains. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in the success or confirmation URL of whatever the action is. So if someone's going through a checkout process, then this will be the confirmation page or the invoice page when they're done with the shopping cart or upsell, downsell sequence. If someone's just opting into a landing page or squeeze page, then this is going to be the thank you page or success or confirmation page that happens right after that action. There are other ways to track these. This is just the simplest, kind of most foolproof way of doing it. So here, I've just typed in supercoolcompany.com slash confirm, right? So this is the page that's gonna show up right after someone signs up for the free offer that we have. And once we've entered in that URL, we're gonna go ahead and click save. So we've saved it. The trigger creation is complete. Step one is done. And what's cool is this trigger that we just created can be used for any tag, any conversion pixel on our site. So it's gonna be really cool how you see how this works in a second here. You can see here's the first change. We can see that the trigger has been created. And now it's time to create our conversion code. For this particular example, I'm gonna be going through Google Ads. It should be similar for your other advertising platforms. So we're gonna head over to Google Ads and click on Tools. Under Tools, we're gonna click on Conversions. And inside of our conversions, we're gonna click the big blue plus button. You can see here there are a couple conversions already set up for this particular account. And in our conversions, we're gonna click on website, and then we're going to go through and set up what this conversion means to us. So first we're gonna give the conversion a name. I recommend naming it something similar to the tr what you name the trigger in Tag Manager so you know all these conversion tags and triggers are around the same event. So we're just gonna actually name it 
approximately the same thing. And then we're gonna tell Google what type, type of conversion this is. Is it a purchase, a sale, a lead, a sign up, you know, a view of a key page or other. Typically, I only use the first three. We're tracking a lead here, so we're gonna select lead. And then we have the option of telling Google what the value is. Now, when it comes to different values for each conversion, that's advanced, we're not gonna touch that in this particular tutorial. If you have one product at one price, then you can go ahead and enter in that price. It's great if you're looking to figure out what your kind of cost per leads are, cost per acquisition, and doing return on ad spend type things. For this particular instance, we're just doing a sign up. Someone's just entering their name and email to get access to something cool. So we're gonna go ahead and select don't use a value. Next, we have count if you're gonna count every or just one. It's recommended if you're doing this for a lead or a sign up, go ahead and click one. We only wanna count a conversion as someone who gives us their contact information one time. If it's a sale, well, go ahead and count every single one. And finally, there's some other settings here in the bottom that you can play with based upon what your conversion tracking is and the type of campaigns you're running. And on the next page, we're gonna go ahead and select use Google Tag Manager because that's what we're doing. We're using Google Tag Manager. And here, we're going to copy the conversion ID and the conversion label. And of course, you can click the tabs at the top if you're going to be sending this off to someone or you just wanna see what the code looks like. And this is all we need from Google Ads in order to set up our conversion tracking inside of Tag Manager. So we'll just go ahead and click Next to finish up. We're gonna click Done because we've already copied what we needed. And now we can see that our new conversion action is showing up in our list of conversions. Of course, it's unverified and there's none because we just made it. So now we get to go to step number three, which is setting up the conversion tag. So we're bringing it all together in this. So we're gonna go back over to Google Tag Manager. We're gonna click on Create New Tag and then we're going to give our tag a name and this should identify the source and the action. So in this particular instance, I'm gonna name this AW conversion for AdWords or Google Ads conversion. And then what is the conversion? It's the a lead for the Aspire notebook. So we'll go ahead and select our tag configuration because this is a Google product. We can go ahead and click Google Ads conversion tracking. If you have a code from another ads platform, you can go ahead and go to the custom section down here and click on custom HTML. You can go ahead and paste in the conversion code snippet that you got from your ads platform. So here we're going to copy and paste our conversion ID and conversion label into Google Ads. So you can see here, I saved it in a notepad. So we just copy and paste into those two and we're good to go. And now we want to select our triggering. So this is where that trigger comes in that we already created earlier. We're going to head, go ahead and click on the A and B dash lead trigger. So it's telling Google Tag Manager that we only want to fire this particular code from Google Ads when someone sees the confirmation page. So this is the summary of what we have. We're gonna go ahead and click save. And now it's time to preview our install. We can see here we have two workspace changes. So we'll go ahead and click preview. Once we get the preview notification, we'll go over to our website and refresh the page. Now here, it's very important that we refresh the page on the confirmation page. We wanna be looking at the page where the tag is supposed to fire. So we'll refresh the page and we'll see our preview down here and we can see aw dash conversion underscore amb dash lead blah, blah 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 google ads conversion tracking fired one time perfect this is the confirmation page we want the tag to be firing here and now that we've confirmed that it's firing in the correct place we can go back to tag manager leave preview mode and submit our changes so here i'm going to go ahead and give it a name that's descriptive of everything that was done, as well as the conversion ID, the conversion label, and the actual URL of the trigger that was set up. So that way it's very easy to see in one place everything that was done. And this is especially helpful because as you keep doing this over and over again, it's very easy to find mistakes or wind up needing to change the way a particular tag or trigger has been set up. And so this is just a great way to make sure that you have a good track record and you can easily fix issues that come up in the future. We'll go ahead and click publish. We'll get our summary of results. 
And as usual, we're gonna to need to go back to our site one more time to make sure that the tag is showing up correctly via the tag assistant. So we're gonna refresh the page. That bottom section is gonna disappear. And now we're gonna click on our tag assistant. We're gonna be able to see the Google Ads conversion code has fired correctly on this confirmation page. And that's all there is to it to setting up your conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager. Remember, the trigger that you set up in this tutorial video can be used for all of your other advertising platforms as well. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth click by click tutorials just like this one over on the channel. I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to be successful with your digital marketing. And of course, getting your conversion tracking dialed in is just one piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your own and paid media campaigns. So go ahead and hit that like button, comment below if you have any questions or you run, ran into any snafus getting installed with Tag Manager and your conversion tracking. And of course, until the next video, you know what to do. Keep building the business you love.